Bioshock and another game uh, were two games that I saw at that E3 in 2006 that really blew me away and made me, re made me realize we were in a new generation of gaming. Uh, the second game was Mass Effect uh, from Bioware. Uh, originally an Xbox exclusive RPG. Yeah, I'd kind of forgotten that detail. It's one of those things like, that game didn't come to a PS1 for years, but I don't think people really associate it with Xbox, so it's just kind of those interesting trivia, like just bits of history that's kind of mm -hmm. easy to forget. Yeah. That gave us Commander Shepard. Uh, you can choose to play as either male or female, but you're always Commander Shepard, and mm -hmm. I think uh, those two like default images of the male and female Shepard are, are very iconic video game characters from the last generation. Did you guys uh, customize your Shepherds? Or? I, I did. Yeah, me too. So like the Shepherds on the box, I'm like, that's not that's not Shepherd. Yeah. <laughs> you just see so much of them though in like yeah. the marketing and imagery. Miranda, you just played through. Uh, I could totally be misremembering, but didn't you just play Mass Effect for the first yes, time? Yes, I played recently. Yeah, I played all three Mass Effects last year oh, in a month. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah. That's so. Really nice. uh, yeah, um, I kind of wish I would have played it at the time because the mechanics now, like the shooting mechanics and stuff, just don't really hold up. Sure, well, um, they evolved from game to game too. Oh yeah, absolutely, right. they definitely changed, and for the better. Mm -hmm. uh, Mass Effect One was, with how shooters are now, where it was a little bit difficult to get through, but it was still fun, like committing my squad and talking with everybody and um, building those relationships for the first time and finding out more about the Reapers. I mean, the interesting thing about Mass Effect 1 is they very much, like, that was an RPG with some shooter elements, and then yeah. they swung that in the other direction for the future games, where they're, like, shooters with RPG elements, and really doubled down on it, feeling, like, the cover system feeling great, and, like, yeah. the, the shooting and the guns all feeling great, and then the first game, it was much more, uh, yeah, I mean, they focused much more on kind of the stats and the RPG side of it, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I, I sort of, it's an easy thing to overlook, but I like the, like, Everything in that world sort of feels like it makes sense. It's actually Bioshock is another game that's good at that. But like mm -hmm. in the Normandy, I'm like, yeah, this ship feels realistic and feels like a ship that could exist in real life. And the Citadel and how you get around that world. And ships can't actually travel faster than light. They have to go to the, uh, what are they called? The, the Mass Effect relays. Mm -hmm. Right. And you have to get shot through the relays and like how, like Mass Effect's not actually that far in the future. Like, yeah. I just like the world building that they did and how like, humans had to like catch up to the rest of the galaxy because of this technology we stumbled on. Yeah, so we just needed some help from ancient races to send <laughs> right, us yeah. this technology and then, then we'll be good. <laughs> I just think it's, it's really cool and like the way that, uh, it, I, again, it's interesting. That's why I like doing History of Awesome so much is because I hadn't really thought about it in terms of like Bioshock, but the way that the, uh, the powers in Mass Effect work, the uh, biotics, is that, I haven't played the yeah. game in a long That's time. Right. Yeah. But like those biotics all are explained in the world and make sense in the context of that game world. And uh, it just feels like an easy place. Like I don't ever look at it and feel like, well, that feels video gamey or not right. Like all the fiction and stuff just makes sense. Like it was all very well thought out. Yeah, it's approaching like Star Wars level of intricacy and complexity, all the world building. That you yeah, mentioned. I mean, well, and that's deliberate, right? Like, I don't know how, if this is just a rumor, if this is actually confirmed in an interview somewhere, but they made, I mean, Bioware made Knights of the Old Republic, mm -hmm. and then um, then they weren't making Star Wars games anymore, and so they said, well, we'll make our own Star Wars. And, like, the biotics mm -hmm. are totally, like, force powers, right? Yeah, like, yeah, right. Sure. It's not, it's, like, very thinly disguised, um, and they totally pulled it off. Yeah. I really like the combat. Uh, I like that you can pause the yeah. combat to give your squad orders. Yeah. Uh, I appreciate that. Then there's also had great voice talent. You had Keith David, Seth Green is in there, Lance Henriksen yeah. are all in the game. It was just like the prelude to all the great relationships you got yeah. in, this, in the following yeah. game. Like I think the best thing about Mass Effect, like you can look at each of the games and say, hey, this did this one thing for the entire series. And of course this one was establishing what this was in the world. Yeah. And like you said, they just did such a good job at like raising the conflicts between like the Geth and Quarians and everything else that were going on and sets it up for the later games. Yeah, I mean, we, it's interesting to hear you, like, you say, oh, the combat was kind of so-so. And, like, now that I think back, I'm like, yeah, that's totally true, but, like, my memory of that game is basically sitting and having, like, pretty deep conversations with characters that, like, aren't even real. Right, Like, right. that's my enduring memory of that game is, like, really intriguing, interesting sort of back-and-forth discussions <laughs> that, like, go on kind of longer than I expected to. Like, there's so much voice acting and so much sort of depth there to uncover in the characters. Yeah, and one of the things that I really loved also about that is that very early on you have to choose who's going to stay with you the entire game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, and that, not the entire game, the entire series. It's like, who, who are you going to save? Yeah, I mean, there's an interesting Penny Arcade comic about that, and it's super true where some like, if you're talking Mass Effect stories with somebody else, they're like, whoa, like, that's not even, that character that you're talking about has been dead for two games in yeah. my game, and like, <laughs> 
uh, that's another thing that's fairly common now that was a much bigger deal in 2007, mm -hmm. that promise of like, you're going to make choices now that are going to follow you mm -hmm. into like Mass Effect 3, like into something that we haven't even planned or conceived of yet. Like that, that progress carrying over from game to game was a really big deal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, there was later Bioware games had straight up sex scenes. The original Mass Effect had an implied sex scene <laughs> that got picked up by Fox News uh, and was a, a mild controversy at the time. Didn't they have some terrible, maybe you don't have it in your notes, they had some terrible term, oh, it was sex box. Yeah, there, yeah <laughs> that's yeah. what it was. So yeah, like, the is the, and it's like, sex box. just because it has an implied sex scene in a game that's obviously not meant for kids. Yeah, um, the, uh, the, com the reporters at Fox News were saying that you could, you can commit acts of bestiality in this new video game. Uh, and then later they, like, admitted, wow, rude. Yeah. No. they later they admitted that they had never actually seen the game. Right? Yeah, you know, that, they yeah. have no idea what they're talking about. <laughs> it's like, wow, it's way to be rude to Liara. But <laughs> um, yeah, I'm really happy they improved relationships later on. More choices. Yeah, that was a big true. deal. Yeah. So uh, I also remember riding a lot of elevators in the first match. Oh yeah. <laughs> and yeah. bouncing my Mako oh. around planets. Trying yeah. to get over mountains and stuff. The Mako's precious, though. Yeah. They definitely, oh, they definitely made improvements to that game from yeah. from at one. In my opinion, two is the best. Uh, I agree too. Yeah. And, yeah. and uh, there's well. definitely things that feel a lot better.